Hello, I'm going to provide a brief overview of how to get started in the Drugs Help and Society class. First, you're going to do is you're going to sign into Insight BC. You're going to hit, you go to your courses, and you're going to hit Drugs Health and Society. And it opens up to a home page. And this, here's an overview of the home page. Um, along the side here, you have your account, dashboard, courses, calendar, your inbox for Canvas messaging. Um, any, if you get stuck at, at all, it has a great help guide. Home modules, and you can see um, there are different ways to move on the side here. And then um, you have quick links. I have linked in a PDF, which you can print out of the syllabus, and I highly recommend that you do this. Note that it goes over everything from how to communicate, gives my Google um, text number, my office hours, uh, best ways um, to uh, communicate, and I highly encourage you to do all of these. If you want to stop by my office hours, feel free. Um, one of the big ways I'd like to get communication is through Canvas. Uh, I like that much better than the uh, Bakersfield email address because it, it uh, Canvas identifies you and also it drops everything into the class. Feel free to stop by the office hours and I provide my Google text phone number. Feel free to text this number if you have any questions. Here's the book and I provide a course description and everything that you see in this print syllabus is posted on Canvas on the website. Now, I want you to always defer to Canvas when it comes to deadlines. This is the pacing of the class, and so you can see how it all lines out. Then we have week-by-week -week modules, which are basically folders of all the materials and things we're going to cover week-by-week. -week. And then if you click on that, it will go to that. It will also go um, to that through the modules over here. So you can either click in either place. These are quick links. Uh, and then uh, there's an overview. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see all the deadlines of when the chapter reviews are done, uh, need to be turned in, um, when the introductions, and you can go through and you can see um, basically all the deadlines for the class in one place. Over here on the side, you can see the grade weights, and also you can click in on your grade book at any time to see how you're doing. So let's start off with week by week modules. That's where you should start off. Every week you should go to the modules and take a look of what's due. Um, and so for this week, the one thing that uh, this week and also next, the first week, and I'm gonna be releasing this early, um, give you a head, heads up so that you could start and, and get your head wrapped around the online class format. Uh, this module needs to be completed before you can be able to enter into week one. If you don't do this entire module, then you won't be able to get in. So let's start off with the first one. You're gonna do Drugs, Health, and Society. You're gonna look at the overview, and then you simply hit next to move to the next item. This is the textbook, and it provides an overview of the textbook, and basically you have choices. You can go with the BC Bookstore. You can buy the um, 11th, edition um, or the 12th edition and um, you can also get the ebook and then you can also do use textbook so any one of those will work but you should get a textbook no matter what you're going to need a textbook so whatever works best for you um, if you are able to use um, to go to the bookstore and get the whole kit and caboodle and get online access in the book go for it uh, I believe they're just selling the print access, which is good. You do not need the online access. So be aware that you, you only need the textbook. The ebook is for someone who likes to have a book on their Kindle. And then the used text, um, both are good. But the thing you need to do is constantly cross-reference. And then I also want to point out this website is awesome. It has all the materials posted on the, its website, too. We move on to next. This is a little bit about my me and um, and my background. I have a lot of American Studies um, bachelor's. I have a minor in Spanish. 
Uh, I have a master's in public health and my background um, also includes a doctorate in um, education. So, uh, one of the big things I like to do is do grant writing and grant development. And I'm very into um, community development and really looking at how, how our environment impacts us. I have also listed some fun things here, like a picture of my dog, dog Seeger and Mortz, um, my website, Public Health Baron, and I have two social media pages. And I would highly recommend that you take a look at the social media pages because this is where I post information about careers. Um, but also I'm gonna do some discussions and some things so that you can network with other students who have been taking public health classes. So stay tuned for that. And then I wanna stress that this class needs, um, can, uh, let me see if I really wanna stress this, is that you cannot take this class completely on a phone. You will at times need to use a computer. And for this reason, you need to have access to a computer at least once a week. Sometimes I'm gonna ask you to upload things in Word documents or to upload something in PowerPoint. And so for that reason, I've, I've given you the Officer, uh, Office 365 flyer that you can download. Uh, and it actually has a link here that you can click and it will take you to a place where you can download the whole entire Office package for free. You only need your BC email and your email uh, sign in and um, you'll get Office, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint for both P the PC and a Mac. So whatever you're working on, you can do that, okay? The next thing I wanna point out is that um, I have my um, frequently asked questions are posted here. And I wanna make sure that if you have a question that you, um, is a general question, not specific to you, um, like a question about the book or about deadlines or due dates, I would love for you to post it here because if you post it here, then I can answer it. And nine times out of 10, there are about, uh, there's always another student has a very similar question to you. So you're helping other students by posting your questions here, but you're also, um, might also benefit from this too, because if someone has a question that maybe you hadn't thought of, um, you can see the answer and it can help you out here too. So definitely check out the FAQs and please post here. Um, the next thing I want to point out is that you can set up your notifications. And I put this link here, you can click into it, but basically you need to go to your account and you can set up how you want to be notified of anything. Um, every week, I'm going to be making an announcement of what's due that week, things to do every week. And so you could get, get this, um, you could be notified um, through email, you could be notified through a text message, or you could turn off all notifications and simply look each week under announcements. But I'm gonna highly recommend that you turn on your notifications because my weekly emails uh, really kind of give a step-by-step -step and create a checklist of things that you should do this week. Reminders. This is the BC Public Health Science page. If you click on that link, you can hear, you can read more about the upcoming certificate and the Associate Science Transfer degree. Um, we're gonna be going over a lot of medical terms and uh, different types of drugs. So you can check on that to learn how to pronounce certain things. And then we move into introductions. For this week, um, your first week, not this, we're in week zero right now, so I'm giving you the materials before we officially open. But you can go ahead and post your introduction. I'll go ahead and open that up. And this is for five points, and so you need to answer these questions and then um, see who else is in the class. And so it would be great if you could get this done and give me a little brief overview and introduce yourself to the rest of the class. So once you complete that module, then it'll open up into week one. And this is where you can download the PowerPoints for week one and also take the chapter review quiz. Uh, the chapter review is worth 10 points. You can take it as many times as you want and you'll see that it's open till February 12th. 
The reason why I'm doing that is I want you to always complete your chapter reviews before you take the quiz. So I'm tying everything together. And you've heard it here, the chapter reviews are the questions that you will see in the future on your quizzes. So doing the chapter reviews are essential. So you can go ahead and dive in and take that. And then um, I have provided a workbook sheet that um, basically, if you fill out this workbook sheet, it will totally get you set for um, the quizzes and everything else. So um, I would highly recommend that you print this out and fill it out. And you will see these again um, in the future. I am doing this for you. I'm posting every, every week I'll post the workbook. And I also have it um, in files too. If you um, click on files, you'll be able to see all, all the different files of the chapter um, of the chapter summary workbooks. But anyway, that will be there too. So this is not an item that you have to turn in. This is a guide to help you. And that is it for this week. So I'm going to click back to modules. And for your, for what you need to have on your radar screen for this week, when I release this is that you're going to go ahead and you're going to get your module one done. And then that will open up week one. Now week, the other weeks, weeks two, week three, all the things that you see here, these will unlock as we get into the weeks. So your goal just for this week is to do start here class overview and if you're once you get that class overview done it will open up week one now ex expect an announcement for week one coming next week where i'm going to give you an, uh, a lecture very similar to this via video that you can watch and i'll be posting it here um, and i will also be posting a discussion item um, small one for week one so each week, always look to see what you need to do in the modules. Now, modules are where you go to always each week. Now, if you want to get a list of all your assignments and everything that's going to be due for the whole entire semester, you can see them all lined up here from your introductions. And you're going to see this build. So you can see it's worth 10% of your class. The chapter overviews are worth 10%, and you can see all of them. And each week I'll be releasing them. Here are your quizzes, and these will be online, and one of them will drop. Your midterm exam is worth 20%. Your final is worth 20 And then we're going to have a community report, which I will go into in detail right after the midterm, and you will hear more about that in the future. So that is really important to see that. So now I'm gonna go back to my home and you will see everything situated on one page. You've got your syllabus here where you can print it out. Your week by week modules, quick link. You could see how the grades are lined up and then all your deadlines here. I'm hoping that you're gonna complete your first start starting here week by week module, that you're gonna go ahead and under your account, set up your profile and give me a picture and then also set up your notification from a uh, uh, profile how you would like to be notified if you have any questions you know where to post those right you're going to go into your discussions and i would love for you to post them in frequently asked questions all right great i'm going to go ahead and um post this soon and i'm going to go ahead and change this too this is bugging me so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get this changed to say FAQ. That frequently is bug. There we go. So post your FAQ here if you have any questions. All right. I look forward to our semester ahead. This is your getting started overview video. Go ahead and dive into the class and have a great first week to come.